Okay, so I actually, I believe I've seen like a YouTube shock today or something. Yep, only one character, right? Mm, Kiara, Cat, upon the Eves. Gold level Courier, uh, the Comania. Oh, she has two tails, wow, look at this. Wait, what about her cat ears? It, it doesn't look real once again. Wait, but, but she has tails. Do they swear we're only getting fake cat girls in, in uh, Genshin Pack? No, no, right, her face, like like this kind of mouse, this is like the... Uh, like, this is the kind of mouse only cat girls get in an anime. Or, or girls, uh, or characters who have like this kind of cat girl energy, no for fun. But two tails? Hmm. Okay, I I want to see uh, what her ears look like in the game, you know, to, to look to look at it from different angles and, and stuff, to make sure if it's like fake cat ears or real. Because so far, our cat girls all fake, like they literally make cat ears with hairstyle, and that's about it. But this one, I mean... Wait, is this her boots or her actual legs? If it's like her actual legs, then... I kinda can imagine like this character would have many problems walking. Because realistically you can't really walk on your two with this kind of legs, right? Nekomata. Uh, but I mean I, I guess it's fantasy game, so it's, it's not a problem. But two tails, I I really interested like what kind of animation we're going to have with two tails, right? Like I wondered like to see are they going to move in perfect synergy with each other, or they're going to like move like very in, in very chaotic way. But like sex second option is more difficult to develop. Uh, you know, for game developers pretty much. Plot twist. But I don't know. I, I you know what I I will wait and see. She looks good. I mean she is four star, right? Something tells me it will be more difficult to get here this four star than five stars. Four star? Yeah, I believe she's actually four star. This is like what I've heard. <laughs> Look at this, cat girl, green courier, <laughs> and I guess it's a reference to some anime, right? I actually don't know it. Yeah, one five star hero, please. Wait, actually, it's not going to be five star, right? So, yeah, this is what I've heard from some Genshin news channel, that like it's going to be four star character. That the uh, next version is going to uh, have zero new five stars and only a four star character like this girl. And this, for us, she is part of the Phyllis. That goddamn right, dude. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Yeah, she is part of the Phyllis for us. It's going to be our Genshin Impact part of the Phyllis. Easy. Other seven years. Yeah, it's like I also have like a big question about this one. Like, like, is this real ears or it's another uh, type of fake, fake cat, girls, cat girl ears? I feel like it's extremely important. But, I mean, she, you know what? She is more cat girl than other cat girl characters we got so far. She has what it looks like cat girl legs. I, I don't know, it kind of looks weird, but like, whatever. I wonder how it's going to look in the game. But anyway, she has a two a cat girl tails. It gives her double the amount of cat girl points. She 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 makes this cat girl pose, and she also has cat girl uh, face expression. So I guess even if um, uh, her ears are once again fake, then I feel like uh, she has way more cat girl energy than let's say uh, Dia or uh, what, what is her name? Kitchen. Yeah, 100%, right? So this is the closest we, we're going to get to cat girl, apparently, so far. And I, I, I'm not taking uh, um, Dion in consideration because she is lowly, right? And we know, we know, a, a good cat girl is a horny cat girl. We, we know it from anime and shit, and uh, yeah. But, so D Dion is uh, out of our... Um, how to say it? Pretty, pretty much, we, we don't talk about Diana when we talk about cat girls, right? Because we're normal people, and, and we don't we don't want any problems with FBI. Uh, look at this armpits, armpits. That I swear, it's like this is like something I will never understand. What is the deal with armpits with anime characters? They they literally ju just just one color, a okay, skin, and, and then like one line, and that's about it. And 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 people find it horny somehow. How? Like, what's happening? Like, 
I would have can understand people getting horny for hands. Look, look how many uh, details it has. It has fucking five hidden fingers. Like, it's cool. But armpits, what, what's fucking inter interesting about armpits? Well, well, it works uh, as you can see. Well, but it's like I still don't understand it. Other rumor is she is uh, like DM, future standard banner character. If this is true, it means that uh, she is um, five star, right? Dude, honestly, honestly speaking, if she is five, five star, I'm kicking pulling, okay? I'm kicking giving her all my parameters, not gonna lie. If she is four star, I mean, it's like, I feel like honestly, guys, I, I believe you feel the same way, right? When you pull for new four star, it's always so extremely dangerous. It's like, you literally can get in a situation when you do like 70 pulls, you will get uh, you, you will get zero copies of this character, and you will receive some random S5 five, five star you don't need. And it just sucks. So it's like, it's great to pull for new five star, uh, four stars on a banner that like you interested in, right? When you also need five star, that's a win-win situation. But when you don't want the five star from the banner and you only pull in for four star, that's a freaking huge trap in Genshin Impact. Even bigger trap than a weapon on banner, right? So, yeah, if she is five star, beautiful, absolutely incredible. Like, we're going to uh, sacrifice our entire stock of crystals to her, right? But if she is four star, well, I guess you know, maybe like ten pools, right? And then see how it goes, right? I, I would totally not recommend anybody to pull for four star character, ironically, because you can end up in a really bad situation. Uh, I, like, this is pretty much why I have Constellation 1 Arataki in the game, because I was pulling for Cookie, and I still don't have Cookie at Constellation 6, okay? So so I guess it, it should explain you something, right? I guess it should it should show you that, like, pulling for 4-star characters is a freaking terrible idea.